The investigation into Donald Trump's efforts to overturn the 2020 election in Georgia has expanded into his inner circle. An Atlanta area grand jury just subpoenaed his former attorney, Rudy Giuliani, and Senator Lindsey Graham, among others. Of course, you likely remember Mr. Trump's call to Georgia's Secretary of State, Brad Raffensperger, to quote, fine votes. Raffensperger says that Graham made his own calls to him to see whether he had the power to throw out certain votes but the senator denies that that's what he was trying to do. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here. And so these three stooges have been subpoenaed for trying to rig Georgia's election. And I would like to shout from the rooftops, finally. When we first heard that phone call of Trump begging Raffensperger to find him 11,780 votes, prison sentences should have been flying out at that very moment. So we've seen a lot of activity out of this grand jury. This is, of course, significant because it is moving closer to Trump. An attorney for Giuliani declined to comment on this, and we have reached out to Lindsey Graham's office but have not heard back yet. Allison. That next hearing set to take place next Tuesday. The January 6th committee is going to dig into connections between the former president's efforts to overturn the election and those domestic violent extremist groups, the groups like the Proud Boys, the Oath Keepers, that helped orchestrate the Capitol attack. This notably is the first hearing hearing since last week's explosive testimony from Cassidy Hutchinson, the former Trump aide, who detailed how Mr. Trump knew his supporters were armed, but still urged them to march to the Capitol and later became furious. He became irate when his Secret Service detail refused to drive him there. And that's why I'm particularly happy to hear Lindsey Graham's name included in this. Giuliani, of course, he's a given. That miserable rat was on the front line fighting against America in the service of his fascist leader. Eastman and his fake electors, the same. Meanwhile, Graham tries to play the middle the best that he can. Always an opportunist, the snake. The good news is that unlike with the January 6th committee, there's a judge, an actual judge, who oversees the grand jury in Fulton County. So they'll be able to get through these issues much more quickly than the January 6th committee was able to deal with them. And, you know, it's also a grand jury subpoena is different from a congressional committee subpoena. They won't want to defy it or they could find themselves in jail even. So I do think that it means that they will ultimately, if they want get some testimony from these people to just take a little bit of time to sort through those issues. Throughout history, whenever we see evil dictators, we see complicit yes man that will condone them. They ride the coattails of the tyrant hoping to lead some gain for themselves. Doesn't matter if every principal person or an entire country is sold out in the process. Graham does not hesitate to spit on our constitution whenever it suits him. And Graham knows all of these facts. It's not like he's a complete imbecile like a lot of his party and all of their followers. Graham came right out and said it himself. He said if the Republican Party nominates Trump, they will be destroyed and they will have deserved it. Well, Lindsay, yes, you deserve it. And now it's time to pay. These enablers are some of the most evil players within the fascist playbook. Graham has been working to normalize the abomination that is Donald Trump from day one. Graham witnessed the desecration of all of our institutions firsthand, and yet he acted acted as an apologist for Trump at every turn. But the reason Graham tries to tightrope some facade of middle ground is so he can jump ship at a moment's notice. Remember the night on January 6th when he admitted that he bowed down to Trump at his beck and call for four years like an obedient poodle that he is? Then he went on to say he is done and to consider him out. Not a condemnation of a violent coup like any honorable person would have done. Just a 60-40 statement. Something that allows him to jump the fascist ship if it was sinking, yet come right back aboard if Trump could pull the wool over the moron supporters' eyes again. Even Graham was surprised to find out just how dumb Republican voters really are. And so Graham resumed his place under Trump's dominion, loyal and subservient like any yes man should be. Graham is a prototypical ingredient of a corrupt regime. And if we want to root out corruption in our politics, then shady actors like Graham need their comeuppance. We must see all those complicit in this game of treason come to justice. And the fact that we are seeing these subpoenas being issued is a strong and welcome reminder that so far we still live in a country that we love, a land of justice. To see dirty politicians play above the law and get away with it is the stuff the third world corrupt dictatorships. Lowlifes like Graham and McConnell have made dirty politics a required platform in the Republican Party. They paved the way for Trump and gave him full welcome to destroy our country in the name of protecting their petty self-interest and greed of partisan conquest. There isn't an ounce of Americanism in any of them. These scoundrels betray the oath of office with their every action. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.